Stress, anxiety, and being overwhelmed keeps you from moving forward in life. It keeps you from being your best self and living your best life. So what do you do about it? So when you're stuck in a negative mindset loop and you can't stop thinking about all the things that have happened to you, all the things that could happen to you, and all of the things that are going on in your life, and you're feeling overwhelmed and you feel like you've lost control. So what do you do to break this cycle? Well, you need to start with your thoughts and beliefs about yourself. You see, your thoughts and beliefs about yourself are the basis of what your mindset is. So what is your mind set on? You change your thoughts and you'll change your life. It sounds cliche, but it's true. See, your mindset is a way of thinking or a set of beliefs that determines your attitude and your behaviors. And your behaviors are your actions. So follow me on this train of thought. If you're insecure about yourself and you don't think that you have the ability to succeed, then this will lead to a mindset and a thought pattern where you never think you're good enough. And this will be reflected in your actions. Zig Ziglar said, if you knew how powerful your thoughts are, you would never think another negative thought again. So now this thought cycle or this mindset loop needs to be changed from a negative mindset loop to a positive mindset loop. This means working on your mindset to develop what I call a positive proactive mindset. Zig Ziglar also said, positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. Now the first step is to become aware and recognize the state that you're in and to know that this means working on you, working on yourself. Now most times when you're caught in a negative mindset loop, it's common to look to outside external factors for the reasons of why we feel stressed, anxious, and overwhelmed. But more often than not, it's looking within and realizing that it's our mindset and our thoughts and our beliefs and what we focus on that's the key to seeing positive results in our life. So if you do have this aha moment and you realize it's about you and your thoughts and beliefs about yourself, then you're well on your way to seeing positive results in your life. But when you do start to develop a positive mindset, there are certain issues that come up. You will start to see certain side effects of a positive mindset. The first side effect you'll see is that your focus will start to change. Very often in a negative state, we are our own worst critics, and there's a tendency to focus on our failures and what we see as shortcomings, and this can be a vicious cycle. But when you develop a positive mindset, you'll start to focus on your achievements and growth in relationship to your goals, and you'll see failures as short-term and lessons to learn from. Now, the second side effect is having the feeling that the world is now happening for you rather than to you. When you're in a negative state and you're feeling stress, anxiety, and feeling like you're overwhelmed, it instead feels like the world is happening to you, that all of the events of the world are affecting you in a way that you've lost control. But when you develop a positive mindset, your attitude will start to change and you will bias your thoughts and believe that the world is now happening for you. And that your focus and your actions will start to lead you down the path to accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself, any goal that you set for yourself. Now the third and one of the best side effects of developing a positive mindset is that you will start believing in yourself. When you're in a negative state, you're insecure about everything that's going on in your life. You don't trust yourself. You don't believe you can accomplish things. But as you start to develop a positive mindset, you then will start to bias your thoughts and your beliefs about yourself towards the positive. And that will lead to positive actions, which will lead to positive habits, which will lead, my friend, to positive results. So I'm gonna add a bonus side effect of developing a positive, proactive mindset. So remember I said a mindset is a way of thinking or a set of beliefs that determines your attitude and your behaviors. So when you start to develop positive thoughts and beliefs about yourself, guess what? That overflows to having positive thoughts and beliefs about the world around you. And then everything starts to change. And that's when you get that global sense that the world is happening for you and not to you. 
and then your stress and anxiety start to reduce and your feeling of control starts to grow. You start to give yourself permission to let go of past traumatic events. You stop worrying about the future and you become more present in the moment. So I want you to start to work on your mindset today. Start to develop or enhance your positive mindset. Take the time to work on yourself and how you're thinking. Remember, if you change your thoughts, you can change your life. Well, I hope this information helped you out. As always, if you've seen this video anywhere other than my blog, go check my blog out at awakenyourwellnessnow.com backslash blog. Have a great day and remember, as always, be positive, be motivated, be focused, and be well.